I gotta look after number one. Honestly, this cutscene is always confused me because. It's Jonathan! <laughs> yeah, but the, the reason the cutscene confused it's me. Jonathan! So before we get into the tutorial, I need to mention that this game can act weird when you reset very quickly after you load into a level. Uh, this might play a part in something later in the level. I'll go over it when I get to it. But for now, I'll just say when running this level, it wouldn't hurt to reset once or twice as soon as you load in. There are two different loadouts that you can use for this level. There's either Shockwave and Vibolade, or Rocket Launcher and MagSec. The first loadout I will be going over is the Shockwave and Vibolade. This level starts with a boss fight. Um, immediately upon starting the level, you're going to turn left and snipe the first boss, and then you're going to turn right and snipe the second boss. I wish I had more advice on landing those shots consistently, but to be honest, practice is the only thing that really helps. Sometimes the bosses run weird directions, so you'll just have to get used to following where they move, or you'll just have to uh, keep resetting until they don't run some weird direction. We have two snipers to take out now, so they don't shoot us and slow us down later. So you're gonna head to the right side of the bridge to take out the one on the left. The reason why we don't take out the one on the right side first is because the shockwave, we've already fired two shots out of it back to back. And if we fire another one too quickly, it's going to overheat. So moving over here gives it time to cool down a bit, allowing us to make both shots. Chandra, come in, over. From here, you just run to the elevator. I'm going to go ahead and show what you will do about the snipers if you're using the rocket loadout. The rocket loadout is theoretically faster than the shockwave one, but the problem is the uh, brothers, to take them out in one shot with the rocket for it to be faster than the shockwave, requires them to both run close to each other in a specific spot, which almost never happens. It actually so rarely happens that I don't have video of it to show you. First, you get out your MagSec, and then you look to the left and right side of the bridge, and you should be able to see the x-ray goggles in one of the display cases. This will help you line up your shot on the sniper before the door opens. Once you have them in your sights, you're going to want to fire short controlled bursts. You're not going to want to spam the right trigger. You're just going to tap it with small pauses in between. That way the MagSec bullets are actually hitting him. With this loadout, you won't have enough time to take out the other sniper. So you're going to do some weird movement to avoid being spotted by him. Um, if you use the Shockwave and Vibolade loadout, though, you're going to make your way straight for the elevator. Don't do any of this. Just run straight for it. Hopefully he doesn't shoot you like he did me. This was done on Secret Agent though, so his reaction time's a little better. Uh, the downside of the rocket loadout is it probably makes this one of the most luck-based levels in the game. Now I'll just very quickly show you your movement path if you use the Shockwave and Vibolade loadout. Thank you. 
If you're using the Shockwave Viboid loadout, then you're going to go ahead and pull out your Viboid right here. I try to stick to the left side of the elevator because I've had the guards up to the right spot me for some reason when I was standing in the middle of the elevator. I'm not very sure if that was the exact cause or if it was just bad luck, but still better safe than sorry. There's a guard in this hallway coming up. I try to hang right a bit till I get to the door so that he doesn't see me sooner. And in this run, you'll notice that he does a uh, taunt at me. I actually reset it over and over until he did that taunt so I didn't get shot by him. Most of the time, though, he will start shooting at you. So if you're not willing to just reset as soon as he aims at you, then if you're on the Shockwave Viboid loadout, you just pull out your Viboid and deflect the shots till you get to him and then cut him down. And if you're on the Rocket Mag Set loadout, then you're just going to have to roll through it and hope he doesn't hit you after you get done rolling and punch him as soon as possible. The movement we do here in this room is actually very important because if we get spotted by these cameras, you, you basically just have to reset the whole runs over. Now in the beginning of this tutorial I mentioned that it wouldn't hurt to reset a couple of times immediately when the level starts before doing a run. And now I'll get into why I said that. After you go down this hallway right here, you're going to go down this weird spiral ramp that has two guards on it. And then after that there will be a door. The door takes about uh, two or three seconds to open, but in this run you'll notice that the door is just opened for some reason. I'm the first person to see this door open as far as we know. Uh, I've replicated it two more times since this run. And the similarities of all three of the times I've had it opened already is that I reset a bunch of times in the beginning if I didn't shoot both of the brothers perfectly. And the other similarity is that one guard always noticed that I was there but we don't know which of those reasons is causing it, or if either of those even play a factor. So the most I can say is that if restarting the level a couple of times after loading in and leaving one of these guards alive doesn't cause the door to be open, I wouldn't reset a whole run over it. I would just play the run out. Also, I should mention that if you're only taking out one guard and hoping that that plays an effect on the door being open, that means you don't need to take out the Viblade here. Once we're through the door, we're going to go right down this hallway, then take another right, and then take a left at the end of that hallway. Here we just talk to Dr. Carroll, and then we escort him to the end of the level. If you run into him, it'll actually push him slightly, so we're going to use that as we go to the end of the level to get there a little bit faster. Try not to push him off path though, or he'll get stuck and it'll take a second for him to get back on the right track. And that'll be the end of the level and the end of my ninth tutorial on Perfect Dark Zero individual level runs. Thanks for watching.